But uh, we do have this lovely kitchen, uh, well, preparation table, I guess what you call that. And like I said, uh, there's things that needs to be tidied up right now, but still there's the gist of it. So uh, what I was gonna probably be saying was that, uh, you know, I'm not gonna ever ask for donations or gifts or anything like that, but I am gonna ask that you would pray and if the Lord puts it on your heart at any time to give into this ministry, whether it be uh, <clears throat> with money or if it be with items that we're in need of, like right now, <coughs> excuse me, something choked me up. Right now, we're needing to replace our central heat and air unit, which is gonna be a pretty good expense. We're also looking for a large freezer <coughs> and a large refrigerator. Um, we also are going to need a door uh, beside the stage up there. We're going to need to replace that door at some point. <coughs> Rose said she found a door for the media room over at um, Brothers, but we just need to go get it picked up and put up. So, <coughs> I just wanted to throw those needs out there. If any of you know anybody that might have some of those items that they'd be willing to donate or to sell at a cheaper cost, just would uh, you please let us know here at Refiner's Fire Mission so that we could look into that. I'm sitting here at the pastor's desk and I have the pastor's Bible. <laughs> this is his large print. I'm sure he was using his small print last week so he's probably got it with him but I've got his large print here. <laughs> but I was reading in here in Nehemiah chapter nine. It was, first of all, it went through telling all about all the great things that God had done for them and how he had showed himself mighty in their circumstances and their situations. And then it went on to show how they were so disobedient, how they took no, uh, they gave him no, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? They didn't show their uh, thankfulness back to him, even though he was merciful and kind and gracious to them. Gave them a, a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night to guide them. Uh, he was always there for them, and they just kept on and on and on being disobedient until he ended up turning them over to their enemies. But even though he did that, he was still there for them. He was still being long-suffering with them. And so uh, I've seen that happen in my own life, how God has continuously been there for me and led me and guided me anyway and faithful to me even though I wasn't being faithful. So he is a faithful, um, loving father. He cares about us and he is long-suffering with us. So uh, mate, you might want to read that in uh, Nehemiah chapter 9 thought it was pretty good. Uh, I did not read the whole chapter, I see. But um, that's what I got started on when I sit down here. Pretty interesting stuff. So holler back at us if you uh, have a chance. Just let me know that uh, you did see this video. And um, the way things are on Marco Polo now, it won't let you forward anything. So once I put it out there on this sisterhood site, that's where it's going to be because I can't... Uh, can't send it any further. You usually could forward stuff to people, but it won't let you do that anymore. Unless you pay $60 a month, which so far I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't know if I pay $60 a month, if the person I'm sending it to also has to be paying $60 a month in order to receive stuff from me. I'm not exactly sure how it works. If it was just I pay $60 a month and then I could send it out to whomever I wanted to, and I might do that, but... Um, since I'm not familiar with how it works, I'm not going to invest in it right now. Anyway, keep us in your prayers. Uh, we just want to reach out to this community. If anybody were to donate or, or uh, have a gift they want to give, uh, like I said, with the as far as the refrigerator and the freezer and all that stuff goes, or money-wise, whatever, just be sure and know that whatever it comes into this ministry, we're going to give it out. We're trying to uh, be a blessing and a light in a community. We're uh, wanting to see souls saved and people come to know the Lord. Life's changed and people set free and delivered. 
And so that's why we're here. So anything that we get into this ministry, we're going to pour back out to try to help others. So, love you all. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I hope to hear from you soon. Just let me know if you've seen this video. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> God bless you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.